Why do codependents attract narcissists? Codependents have a low sense of self and seek security, survival, love, and validation from outside of themselves. This is usually a result of their childhood environment, where they were not allowed to form healthy boundaries as a matter of survival. Narcissists seek out those who are prone to handing their power to those outside of themselves, because they're much easier to manipulate. In other words, codependents and those with low boundary function are easy targets. Ripping open your wounds. The most effective way for the narcissist to plug into someone else and access their life force energy, is to hit them where it hurts the most. The narcissist will expertly locate your deepest wounds and intentionally rip them open. The purpose is to extract such heavy emotions and reactions out of you, that you hand all of your power over to the narcissist, making them extremely powerful and relevant. All the while, they're siphoning out your life force energy, straight into their empty inner void. Narcissists are energetic drug addicts always on the hunt for the next hit, which is why they can often appear to be getting off on your pain. How does the narcissist find your wounds? During the initial phase where the narcissist was getting to know you, they were studying you and collecting your data. The purpose of the love bombing was to hook you in and gain your trust as quickly as possible. By mirroring you they were able to reflect back to you the very person you so desperately needed and desired. Through the intense bonding, you felt like you'd finally found the person you'd spent your whole life looking for, which had you opening up to them and sharing your deepest darkest secrets. Right from the very beginning, the narcissist was manipulating you into handing over the key to your resources, without you even realizing what you were doing. People with high boundaries are not looking for someone outside of themselves to be their source of security or love, and they know that it takes a healthy amount of time to get to know someone properly. Those with low self-worth and codependency are the opposite. They are looking for someone to come in and fill the gaps, rather than learning to fill them for themselves. They willingly let the narcissist in, thinking that this person is their savior. The narcissist happily goes along with this charade and promises them the world, knowing that saying the right words is all they need to do to have this person eating out of their hands. Once the narcissist knows they've got you hooked, the abuse cycle can begin, because they know you're not going anywhere. This is when they'll start to devalue you to further erode your self-worth, and subsequently take on their unhealed wounds. They are always storing away any information that you trustingly hand over, which can be used against you at a later date. The smaller you get from their abuse, the larger they become, and the less ability you have to abandon them and take away their supply. Escaping the Narcissist Narcissists are so clever at keeping their victims in a fog, that it's hard to see beyond them, or even recognize the abuse for what it is. They keep you in a state of anxiety, only able to deal with the day-to-day -day survival. A devastating part of being entwined with a narcissist is the creation of a trauma bond. This is where the narcissist keeps you addicted and loyal to them, through intermittent reinforcement. They will dish out punishments for behavior they don't like, then randomly give rewards for compliant behavior. This keeps you in a perpetual state of anxiety, never knowing when you'll be punished or rewarded. So, you always try to act in a way that appeases the narcissist in the hope of receiving a reward, which is the only way to relieve the anxiety. What's really happening, is that the narcissist is programming you into going along with their fantasy reality. Over time, you do inadvertently enter the narcissist's fantasy and begin to believe it as well. It's the only way to exist within the narcissist's world. Escaping the delusion becomes extremely difficult, unless you've got people around you to give you some healthy perspective. This is why narcissists work to erode people's support systems and isolate them, because they know that others can quickly become the enemy of their fantasy. For those who aren't ready to see the truth, the toxic cycle will continue. When the codependent is ready on a soul level, a catalyst will occur to help wake them up to the truth of the narcissist's manipulations. The next step in their journey is to pull their energy back, and step into being their own source of security, survival, love, and validation healing their wounds, and no longer handing their power over to sources outside of themselves, is the path to freedom.